Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Review. So today I'm going to be doing another small independent business. So today I'm going to be doing a Etsy business. Obviously I've been doing a list of businesses that I'd like to try. Even if it's just the smallest of items, you just try, see how you like. I've got a budget guys, so in that budget I want to try and cram as many small independent businesses as I can. And if I like them and you guys like them, you benefit and I benefit and I get to go and try them again. And um, yeah, so let's try this one out today, guys. I'm going to put my glasses on so you get to see. Now, it came in just a plain envelope, but they were well packaged inside this envelope, guys. There was about three pieces of cardboard on either side and it was well taped. Let's just say for the purpose of this camera, it took me about 10 minutes to get into them. Eventually I did get into them. So today guys, we're going to be doing some prints. Now I'm just going to take them out the packaging. I'm going to put them on the table and we're going to talk about why I, I picked these ones and a little bit about the business. So obviously I want to try something new and lately I've been diving into a few prints because I've noticed other um, YouTubers do a lot of prints and the only reason I've never really done many prints, guys, is because my husband didn't want me to put too many pictures on the wall. But lately he's been like, I think you should get some more prints ready for when we do move. Some gothic prints, get some frames for them. And we can just put them in a box ready for when we do move. We don't necessarily have to put them up now. But at least I've got them. So I've just started off with four prints for now, guys. Now the four prints cost £5. He does do bigger prints, and if you're wondering who we're on about, this is the business we're going to do today, guys. And it's Marcus Jones Art. Now, again, I did email and message Marcus, but he didn't get back to me in time for me to do this video, um, which is a shame, but I can't expect people to be on the PC ready to reply to me. So, you know, don't worry about that. I, he did have lots of information on there already, so I did actually went ahead and take took some of his information so i'm going to just quickly talk about that so it's from bristol he started his business now this could be wrong guys but from what i can see he started his etsy business around 2011 so far 5385 sales five star ratings guys i don't just go for five star ratings i just pick out businesses randomly that i think i'll be interested in and um if it's just the perfect if they've got five star rating. Some businesses I've gone into, I've not really had that many sales. Hopefully with my review, that boosts it up a little bit. So it says here, Marcus, AKA Screaming Demons. It's Screaming Demons on Instagram, guys. That I know, because I have added them on Instagram. And it says um, it, that he is a lowbrow graphic artist and illustrator from Bristol. If you are into undead, tattooed, rockabilly, pin-up, zombie girl, or maybe blood-sucking vampire nuns with machine guns, <laughs> enjoy his, you will enjoy his art. Influenced by horror movies and tattoo cultures, 50s pin-up and music. So I kind of get that because I do love all this illustration that's here. Eventually, I'll be having one of these tattoos done. I'm not going to say where, but I will be having these done. So I'm more than happy to get loads of Marcus's prints now because one of them will be my tattoo. Now, I've done a little bit of, of research into what else that he does on there. And it says here, it's, it's thick card and it's on like a, a mat, not a shine. Here is one of them, so you get to see what I'm talking about. So it is, it's in a quite nice thick card, guys. It's all black and white print from what I can see. But I notice he does do colour on some prints. I don't know if they're the bigger prints. So I've took down some measurements, guys. So these are the Gothic Art Day of the Dead. Um, there's four postcards and they were £5 for four. And I thought that was really, really good for that price. I just need to find some flat frames to get these in. There is actually images as well. Of what these look like in black frames and they look so effective now obviously they've got standard size ones where you can have i think it's eight by ten which was nine pound ten and eight by three by eleven by seven inches was nine pound ten also but the eleven point seven inch by sixteen point five inch is thirteen pound fifty i've got my eyes on a couple for that price such as beetlejuice so they had 
both characters on there. They had Marilyn Manson, Edward Scissorhands, Lemmy. Oh, God, old Lemmy was on there. The Crow, which is one of the prints that I want to get, but I'm, I'm also ordering prints from another company, which we'll be featuring on soon. Um, they do Lily Monster, even does The Craft, the lovely witches from The Craft. Um, the prints that he does are amazing. A lot of, like he said, dark illustrations of nuns, pin-up girls, horror spoofs. So this is just one card in general. This is my favourite one of all. Why do I like this illustration? Well, it's got crows on there. It's got the whole gothic Day of the Dead theme going on there. I love her jewellery. I like the attention to detail. And I like the fact that she's got a skeleton hand. So this is just one print, guys. Here is the second print. These come in this pack, guys. He has all kinds of different, I'll pop up pictures so you can see, all different packs of four in different designs. So you can choose what you want out of what he shows. There's so many on there, guys. You really need to go and check out his art. Absolutely amazing. So this one here is, let's just stand at the bar, have a cigarette and um, an eyeball or two while the cat is with you. I do, I just love the whole illustration of all of these. I think my brother would like some of these for his tattoo shop as well. Um, I am I am in the midst of asking uh, Marcus to do something for me, for my brother. I've done something for my sister because um, she's helped me out lately with some stuff. So, you know, you've got to give back what they give to you. Then this one here is slightly different again. Um, this is more of a gaunt, day of the dead kind of look with the rosary beads hanging down i don't think that's supposed to be a nun kind of thing it's definitely a day of the dead you can tell by just the the head headband that they've got on but i just love love that's probably my least favorite out of the four the others i've picked i don't know it's the illustration or the tattoo work on them i don't know but i absolutely love this as well i love the fact that she's tattooed everywhere I would love to be inked like that guys absolutely love it i like the fact that she's even got the swallow flying off her hand there and if you look closely they are all signed by marcus jones on here so there's no copyright kind of thing on there and they are really good quality card guys let me just can you see so they are on really good cards so all you need to do guys is just stick this in a really nice black gothic frame or white frame i may just get two white frames and two black frames so they can be scattered on the wall i've got so many ideas but i just absolutely love this guy's work i will be finding more prints obviously coming up on my channel this is just a little a little proportion of what i'm going to be doing i have lots and lots of small independent businesses coming up on my channel obviously it's going to be the usual ones that i've tried but i'm trying to just try at least once for every company and then go from there and then this is his business card guys now like i said he is on i took my glasses off and i can't see he is on instagram and i don't think he's on twitter guys because i did go up and have a look so it says www.deviantart.com slash marcus jones and then it's www.etsy.com slash uk slash shop slash market uh, marcus jones art and then obviously it's on instagram as www.instagram.com slash screaming demon demons art which is what i just said at the beginning and it's on pin interest as well guys so if you do want to go and check out any of his work you can do okay guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see some small independent business shout outs and you're interested in that hit the notification bell so you don't miss when i upload comment below thumbs up thumbs down but go and then um, check out marcus jones's art absolutely loving it i will come back with all my prints guys and show you what they all look like in their frames but for now i'm going to put these all away okay guys take care of yourself any suggestions pop them in the comment box and i'll go and check them out all right guys take care of yourself and i'll see you in the next one bye for now don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps me out and my channel. Take care guys and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.